Join us from the Tahoe Area Mountain Bike Association, and then Jacob, you're joining us here from the United States Forest Service. Kind of getting together, pairing up for this national, uh, not national, this Trails Day coming up Saturday, July 16th. So I think the first question for everybody out there is, what exactly is a Trails Day? Yeah, well, the, the Trails Day, the first thing I'd like to point out is that it's a combination of work and fun. I've done some trail days and had a really good time. Uh, last year and this year. You, you get to construct trails, you get to maintain trails, and in this case we're working on the Armstrong Connector here in South Lake Tahoe. And uh, TAMBA, and we'll talk a little bit more about TAMBA in a second, but TAMBA is a mountain biking association. We're trying to get people to come and we're also trying to make, uh, make it an inter interesting day. So we'll have uh, some giveaways afterwards, uh, some beer, and uh, Sprouts Cafe has uh, offered to supply lunches for 25 of the trail workers. Yeah, Sprouts. So we're going to have a full lunch uh, action happening. And um, yeah, it's just going to be a great day and it'll allow people to not only show their support for mountain biking and uh, trails in general, uh, but it'll also uh, show the Forest Service that TAMBA is an organization that can get people out there to uh, work on the trails. And uh, Jacob, you want to talk about exactly what we're going to be trying to do that day? Yeah, um, I mean, we have 320 miles of trail on our system right now, and they all require maintenance and upkeep, um, you know, and that's a big task. So we do as much of that as we can, but we also get a lot of help from volunteer groups. Uh, on this day in particular, we're looking to do some maintenance, and we're looking to do some improvements as far as um, adding some additional features and, and uh, improving some sustainability. It, it seems like this is a very important thing for people that mountain bike, for people that hike, to be a part of your region and to take part in the upkeep of it. And, and I know to be able to have a hand in building trails and maintaining trails really allows you to put a mark on the community and, and feel like you're doing something good. And I think that's the important part that people should really understand is because it is fun. And at the end of the day, when you're making trails, you know, for mountain biking, it's making the mountain biking better mm -hmm. and you're giving back to the sport as well. And so maybe the Tall Area Mountain Bike Association as an organization, how did that come about? And then uh, why did you guys decide to, to get this going as far as a trail day? Yeah, well, the history of Tampa goes back many years. When I first moved to Tahoe, I guess 2002, uh, Tampa is already a long-standing organization. I have some friends who are active in that. And I think that talking to them, a lot of the emphasis of, ta of Tampa, and by the way, we have a website, website mountainbiketahoe.org, and then also you can find us on Facebook. Just uh, do a search for Tampa or Tahoe Area Mountain Biking Association. But in those early years, uh, they were really working on just general access because mountain biking was a newer sport, mm -hmm. and there was concerns about you know, conflicts with other users, things like that. And so the emphasis was really on access. Uh, in more recent years, uh, let's face it, there's a lot of mountain bikers out there and various skill levels. And I think now the emphasis is focusing a little bit more on uh, not only uh, maintaining and improving existing trails, uh, but also looking at ways of making sure there's a wide range of trails for a wide uh, variety mm -hmm. of skills Absolutely. and interests. And I think that's important. So, uh, yeah, TAMBA, uh, this uh, spring, actually, we uh, essentially reinvigorated TAMBA. We have a new board of directors. I'm on the board, uh, and, and uh, we are really trying to, you know, get, get momentum going again uh, in terms of the membership and uh, really working closely with the Forest Service on projects such as this trail day. I, I think with sports as big as, you know, mountain biking, climbing, and, and organizations like that, it's good to have the, the central area of information of organization mm -hmm, and right. dedication and I think Tamba it's, it's great to have you guys involved here in the region because it is so mountain bike crazy and I think anybody out there knows you know go, go out to North Star today you'll, you'll see <laughs> yeah. plenty of them yeah. and so Jacob uh, I know the USFS you guys work with a lot of different agencies um, how does really Tamba fit in kind of the broader uh, scope of trail maintenance and construction mm -hmm. Well, like I mentioned, we have, uh, you know, 320 miles on our system right now. They all have to be maintained. We get a lot of help right now from the Tahoe Rim Trail Association on the Rim Trail. Um, but there's a lot of other trails that feed the Rim Trail or that are just, you know, independent that uh, we send our staff out to get some work done on. Um, but they're kind of get missed sometimes. Um, and in particular, like you mentioned, mountain biking is a huge demographic in this area. It's a huge part of our trail use. So it's nice to have a group focused on that, representing that, um, and working to improve those experiences. Um, and we're talking about adding to that as well, we're talking about some potential new trail opportunities. Awesome. I think the most important thing is if we want to keep this region good, if we want to keep the relationship, you guys got to give back, you guys accept the help. I think it all works out to where everybody's, you know, succeeding in this. Yeah, and I just want to chime in and say my interactions with the Forest Service have been very positive. They, uh, for example, when we talk about building features for advanced riders, 
the Forest Service is concerned about making sure it's well constructed, but they're not against the idea of building it. Absolutely. Okay? They just want to do it right. And so people need to hear that message uh, that uh, Forest Service organizations around the country are, are really, I think, getting, getting that fact and understanding that it makes sense to build a legal trail that uh, meets the needs of a wide variety of users. And, and you know what I find out most about the you, you Forest Service people? You guys are mountain bikers, you guys right, are hikers, right. you guys are climbers, you know? So it's, you, know, you don't want to limit people you know, getting out and enjoying the resources. You just want people to respect the resources. So right. if people want more information real quickly, how can they get more information? Well, as I said, our website, and uh, you can just Google or you can go to Facebook, uh, look up Tamba and, and, and get the information there. The, the trail day is a Saturday, July 16th. We are gonna have trail days, uh, the third Saturday of every month. This is the first kickoff one. And um, it starts at nine o'clock. Uh, information on where to go, it's uh, at the Lower Corral parking lot. But that information is on our website, uh, mountainbiketahoe.org, or on our Facebook page. Perfect. Nils Miller, Jacob Quinn, thank you for joining us. Keep up the good work in the community. Make sure you guys head out to Trails Day, Saturday the 16th. Get all the information at mountainbiketahoe.org. We'll be right back.